do 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 that's my shit that's my shit ooh that's my shit that's my shit I heard that you were talking shit and you didn't think that I was hearing. Baby, hear you talking like that, getting everybody caught up. Phil trucks are coming around that back, so it's not just gonna happen like that, cause there ain't no holler back, girl. Ooh. Gwen Stefani, Stefani, Stefani. Oh my. God, you can say that this is a revamp of her 10-year hiatus, but I really don't care because I miss this girl so much. Let me tell y'all why. I have been a big fan of Gwen Stefani since her first album. And then, I, I, you know, no doubt, you know, they came out the year I was born, 1992. I didn't find out about, no doubt, till like the late. 90s when i was maybe like eight or nine and then uh uh hey baby was one of my favorite songs but guys let's let's jump right into after no doubt let's jump into gwen stefani's solo career love angel music baby the sweet escape those are her only two solo albums guys and i you and you know what I love it on CD so much, but Love Angel Music Baby was one of my favorite albums. A uh, 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 Rich Girl was just one of my favorite jams. Hollaback Girl, um, oh my God, The Cool. Oh, don't these is, these songs was just amazing. Um, uh, Harajuku Girls, amazing songs, guys. I've been loving West Fine for a long time, but now she got this new album. This is what the truth feels like. For one, catchy title. Two, this album cover is giving me Marilyn Monroe, Madonna, all at the same time, y'all. I am loving this album. You don't really have to call it a comeback because I don't care if this sounds like stuff she's made out already. I'm going to tell you why. Because I'm, I just wanted to hear something new from Gwen Stefani. A lot of people are saying that this album is for Blake Shelton because you know that her and Gwen Stefani are indeed in a relationship after her late marriage her 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 latest hell marriage that did not last long but she was you know she was with um i can never remember his name y'all the fans are gonna have to f forgive me but it's he's she's been with him for a while um it was reflecting on her false sorry someone is facetiming me right now i don't know who hello I don't know. That was a... Sorry about that. Anywho. I thought that was somebody FaceTime. That was just somebody calling him a throw. But anyway. Back to what I was saying. I believe that this album is good. Even though if every song is about Blake Shelton. Because you know they are the, 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 in a relationship. She was saying how much Blake Shelton helped her false of a marriage you know how being with blake shelton makes her feel alive you know because she is a person who wants to be in love and i've been understanding going to find you know she is a lovable person that is which brings me to that is the last song of the deluxe edition but guys we ain't about to get and i love that song but anyway let's get into this album song by song can we talk about this album song by song? Let me say she got about like 10 cuts on this album that I like. Maybe like three I really wasn't feeling. But Misery, okay, I like Misery. It's not my favorite song, but it's cute. You know, uh, when I when she finally had uh, released it as a single, I was like, okay, you know, it's it's a cute song. It's just not one of my favorites, but I love Misery. I mean, I mean, I think it's a cool song. You're my favorite. This is just the original pop lock and drop it, Gwen Stefani, that I know and love. The beat, the beat. Okay, this is one of the things I love about this girl. She gets down to the nitty gritty. I was, however, not pleased to see that she didn't put a song with Pharrell. She did not work with Pharrell. I was a little shocked by that. I was like, hmm, because, you know, in 2012, she did do Spark the Fire. 
I love that song, by the way. Or oh, was it 2013? I'm not sure. But she did Spark the Fire. That was a Pharrell joint. And then there was another, a couple of other songs she did. But, guys, I miss what she used to work with, for real. But anyway, I was a little shocked that she didn't. But she got some bangers on this album, okay? I'm definitely loving these beats. Okay, you're my favorite. Where Would I Be? It's, you know, a cool song. You know, it's, it's, it's great. It's just a regular. I think she really show, show, showcased her... Um, vocals as far as vocal wise, I was definitely feeling. I was definitely loving that. Um, then this is where we get to make me like you. This is my least favorite song on this album because it just was just too sobby for me. You know, no shade, but I just this just wasn't my best song. Truth. Basically, this is the title of the album, Truth. This is what the truth feels like. I just think that this song was just a brutally honest song dedicated to her false of a marriage, you know, uh, and, and how, I guess, you know, he somewhat put a damper on her life and how Blake Shelton had to come and pick up the pieces, basically, is what I'm picking up about the song. Used to love you. Okay. Okay. It, 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 it was... It's... It's it's okay. It's okay. You know, it just was just giving me um, a, it just had a little um, oh, what is her name? Cindy Lopper. It was kind of giving me just a little Cindy Lopper a little bit. You know, it's it's an okay song. Okay, then this is when we get to all these cuts on this album. Send me a picture. She talking about Blake Shelton for sure. She talking about she want to see his snaps in the morning. She want to see his face. You know, text messages. I'm definitely loving the song. I think it, it, it's just the original Gwen Stefani that I know and love. It just had a little nice little Caribbean melody to it. You know, Gwen Stefani is always good for making those types of songs. It, I was. I, this is just one of my favorites on this album. First favorites. Red Flag was another Hollaback girl. It just kind of had that same feel. I don't really know what to think about that song right now. I have to listen to it again, but I, you know, I listen to it anyway. Asking for a feature of Fetty Wap. Did Fetty Wap really need to be on that song? I'm going to give you my honest opinion. Hell no. Okay, I don't even really feel like Fetty Wap, what was his purpose of being on that song? He sounded like Future. I don't really know, but I really do like that beat, and I think Gwen Stefani, you know, was, was you know, was kind of on her pop lock and drop it ish on that. Naughty was a striptease type of song, you know, talking about how she want to get naughty with, I guess, Blake Shelton. You know, I, I take it that mostly all these songs are dedicated to her new relationship, Black Shelton, you know, I guess. But I'm definitely, definitely feeling naughty. I think that was a good song. Me Without You, very nice beat. Very, very nice beat. I was definitely feeling it. I just think that that was a great song that showcased her voice. Rare, this is the end of the um, standard edition. Rare was basically saying how her new relationship is rare because of the broken pieces of her last relationship uh, of her last marriage did not work out okay then this is when we get into um the deluxe edition we got we got rocket ship which is a which had a nice little cold beat to it, it was a club joint i was definitely feeling i was definitely loving all. i was like yes go ahead and get your life getting warmer uh was uh giving me the uh, old school no doubt feel kind of had a no doubt flavor to it. I was definitely feeling it. I definitely liked it. Obsess um, was was another song that was kind of giving me a little no doubt feel, kind of a little bit. Uh, it had a little rock in it. I was definitely like, okay, okay. Splash. When I tell you, Miss Gwen Stefani snatched my black ass completely with this song. This song is by far one of my favorite, favorite song on this album. Gwen Stefani, girl, you just came and snatched it. Splash. You just come and splash. I gotta learn them words. Y'all know when I say I gotta learn the words, I'm feeling this. I'm definitely feeling this song. I'm definitely loving it. Then this is when we get to the last song. Lovable. She's 
so and treat she kind of do her oh lele oh lele oh lele oh oh lele oh ah 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 it's this 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 oh lele caribbean style of gwen stefani is what i always love you know she is a hippie and i love it you know she gets hip she goes into a black level and i i i, I that's my girl this is my girl i'm so glad she's back even though she is a vet a complete vet in the music industry i don't care if it does sound like a revamp of previous albums gwen Stefani, you still have a great album in my opinion. I will be buying it. Yes, this album I'm going to support my girl Gwen Stefani because I've been loving her for a long time. I've been a big fan. I, I, it's just something different about her. Her voice, her uh, talent. You know, she is very, very pretty. She reminds, she looks like Marilyn Monroe with a little bit of Madonna and a little bit of Sidney Lauper and a little bit of, you know, all these beautiful, you know, uh, Caucasian women, but I am loving it. I'm for this album. I'm loving it. I don't care if it sounds like a revamp. Who gives a damn? Music is music. And she can talk about... She made the whole album basically about Blake Shelton and her false of a marriage. But who cares? She's get, I guess this is her turn of point of saying she's getting... She's getting these, these past memories of her... Um, marriage out and she's renewing she's she one of the songs she was saying she she wants to create new memories with blake i i you know what this is what she is saying basically on this album this is what the truth feels like you know she had to speak her truth and it, it, it was just what was on her mind and i love the fact that she was honest and, it, and and she doesn't care if it sounds like a revamp she doesn't give a damn and this is why i love it who cares revamps happen all the time you know you got artists that come do comebacks and they still sound like how they did when they first came out who cares okay but all these songs are different and and new and original songs from Gwen Stefani this is her third solo album in 10 years I had to support it this is forever Brandon TV all the Gwen Stefani fans get your life to this no doubt fans for real fans y'all know the tea y'all know to tea up if you love you some Gwen Stefani like I do uh this album is gonna be on non-stop repeat this is forever Brandon TV